Hi Pisces, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and thank you very much for coming back and being loyal and faithful but you are a cyber angel so you know what to expect please like and share and please check the bell um, it, that it's clicked on all on all your favorite channels and if you're new welcome to the channel please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be notified when I go live as I go live three times a week and there are new things happening so um, that might change in the future so it's wise to subscribe and hit the bell on all so that you can ke keep uh, up to date and being notified because I'm also starting workshops in the autumn have a look at the update and information video and also what kind of workshop I'm going to do there's a video on that as well I am looking really forward to it but coming back now um, this is your reading for the 31st to the 6th of September 2020 Pisces so here we go the first card that you have is the five of Pentacles you might feel left out you might feel left out of a group you might feel left out at work or you might feel left out of a circle of friends or family well you can do something about it my darling you can join them perhaps you are feeling left out because you've been really working that hard trying to balance the finances or work and home life so take time out and seek your friends seek your family let them know that you still love them and that you miss them but you are working hard to get things back into balance don't feel restricted you have the key in your own hand always remember that and not only that but look at the Sun rising to a new day the divine has your back know that you're not alone the card clarifying this card is the um, beautiful kingdom the tarot of the kingdom it is a mystical land so uh, I love this deck you've got the knight of water it is a mystical deck it's like a knight riding a seahorse so in other words let your fantasy go come out of your head um, and join the group okay you might be getting um, a message from a knight of water as this is the knight of water the knight of cups you might get an offer you might get an invitation to join the group back again so make the time to go and visit the group you could be getting an offer of love you could be getting an offer of passion something that you're passionate about a new hobby that the group is doing and they want you to join in so that you can feel one again and belonging to the group this could also just be news of uh, something like a job interview or this could be news that uh, somebody is inviting you to come and join a party or it could be news of love or something that you're nurturing like your home life and your job something is improving something is going to happen okay or it could be spiritual news you might be missing somebody that is not here anymore and that's why you feel out of sorts like as simple as that you at a job uh, because this is Pentacles you somebody's left that job his job or her job and they've gone somewhere else and they're sending you news why don't you come and join me here because this is fantastic you'll feel in your element again so you might be getting an unexpected offer of an other job that you feel more emotionally in balance with you've got the eight of swords again he looks distraught and he looks <laughs> what am I going to do now you know and when you're not in balance you're most probably too much in your head as well and emotionally now the eight of swords is exactly that 
you're too much in your head, you feel tied up, you feel restricted. Okay? And constricted or restricted is the same as constraint. You might feel tied up, so take off. The hands are loose, but you don't see the hands here. But take it from me in other decks. You're not tied up with the Eight of Swords. You just are too much in your head because you feel restricted or constant constrained. So take off the blindfold and the rope and walk between the spaces of the swords. And look what is around you, not just what is in front of you. Look at what the possibilities are and what you have, like your talents. What can you do to amplify or enhance your talents? Why, if you go to a job interview, why, what difference could you make to that um, business or firm? Okay. And let's have a look. You've got the three of earth. That means recognition. Well, if you say is, I've got the qualifications, but I also have the gift of the gab, and I've got a unique way of doing this, and I'm very constructive, and I can do this, and I can do that, then they, that is an extra to your curriculum vitae. So come out of your head. You've had time to think why you are the one they should choose you okay the same if you are um, uh, getting an offer of love and you've got might have more offers of love because this card also means re recognition so you might uh, a pentacle the earth signs or the water signs might just see you as the ultimate sign or person they want to go out with and then you you can ask that question to them why do you think you could make me happier than I'm already now boom how can you enhance my life and I will tell you how I can enhance your life you can choose perhaps you've got more choices than one either in love or in work or business on Friday you have the Princess of Swords. That's the Page of Swords. So somebody younger than yourself will be sending or giving you news. Something will become clear to you. Perhaps it might be official news. You've got the job. Wow. Or you might be getting married or getting engaged and make it official. And that is the news that the date that you made for the to get married is official now wow nice one you have the ace of uh, fire and just like the picture shows it looks like a phoenix you're rising from the ashes you have got where you want to be you've come into action you've been creative and you have sold yourself wow you have sold yourself and you've got the job you're rising from the ashes you're the one that's going to get more money or perhaps the promotion you've got the recognition and you have sold yourself so you can let go of that five of pentacles you don't have to feel out of sorts anymore. You belong to a new group. A group, Okay, perhaps that friend of yours that sent you the news or that offer um, told the firm or the company that they're working for, this is a good person and they should be here. And they have spoken to you, they've, you've, they, they've given you the recognition or got recognize what you stand for and that you're um, loyal and that you're trustworthy and that what you've said um, that makes sense that you are an extra addition because you've got more talents than the usual person perhaps you've got more experience than all the people that applied for that position you are celebrating with family and friends because the Ten of Cups means reunion with family and friends. So you belong again. Wow. Nice one. 
you feel at home. You're being rewarded for your hard work. And that is great because you've worked where you want to be and you're, you've come full circle. There is an ending to difficulties and uh, there is a beginning to new emotional happiness and being together, being unite, reunited with the people you felt you had lost because you were too much in your head. Okay. Now you've got the moon in the spotlight and you've got the sun. I didn't sort this out, but these two cards means that you are in the spotlight. I'll do the moon first. The moon means that uh, there is um, doorways. Look at the doorways. There's new beginnings, but you didn't know that were there because you were too much in your head. Okay. Uh, something has become clear to you on Friday and now you realize that you might have to do a new study or that you've applied for a new study uh, to enhance your talents. Perhaps that's why you got the job because you're advancing and specializing in something that makes you special, that makes you stand out, being in the spotlight. You're also using your intuition and you've opened your mind and your solar plex and your heart which means that you are passionate at what as what you are going to do okay brilliant remember maintain that balance of emotional enhancement and listen to your intuition and new ideas that will stand you in good stead but you might need more information so that could be the study Okay, sorry, the study in heart, uh, sharpening your talents. You have passed the first stage and you are being recognized, but you sold yourself that you can do better than others and you've got this new start. Beautiful. You could be meeting a Pisces, Pisces, but you are definitely in your element because this is your card. And look at that, you, the overall energy is the sun. The sun makes it clear to you that you feel warm again and being nurtured by the warmth of others. Wow! The sun means also promotions going up to the next level, like I told you. You might be starting a new study to specialize in something that you are passionate about and that is exactly what the company wants. You might even be traveling for work, okay? You might also be moving for this job. There's new beginnings. The ground is fertile and the, gra and the warmth of the sun will make any seed grow. There will be a returning um, of investment every time. Definitely. This is one of the most positive cards that you can get. You are back in balance because 19 becomes a 10 and 10 is a full circle. You're in balance and there's an ending, where's an ending, there's a new beginning. If you wanted to get pregnant then this is the right time. If you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions. Wow, a Leo might be interested in you. Like I said, you've got the fire sign there. That is Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. And here, Leo. Boom. Okay, that is beautiful. But like I said with the moon, uh, spotlight, you are in the spotlight. Um, and here I see horns. Um, and that could be Aries as well. So that is quite significant because the sun is usually Leo, but it's got the ram's horns. So that could be also an Aries that's significant for you. And that's the sign after you as well. Now, uh, what else? I you need some more information so if you're signing contracts make sure you read the small print if you're moving home 
make sure that you know everything you might have to do some more research because there are things that are unknown and that's the shadow side of the Sun and the moon and the star Wow and then you have from the Avalonian deck moon of purification yes you might have to detox perhaps this is the time to detox the moon of purification means purifying something okay patience with self and others is needed inner strength weathering injustice accepting what cannot be changed courage to meet any challenges well that's the challenge taking action starting something new okay and you have endured you have worked towards this and you have perhaps suffered mentally or physically being out of balance okay and you've been gracious under pressure because you are rising from the ashes and that is what this card means you have endured suffering grace under pressure and now is your time to transist into what you wish to be awesome I hope you've enjoyed this reading please like and share and take care and be blessed love you all see you next time ciao ciao